start, click the Windows logo, and open up the control panel. Locate the icon for Network and Sharing Center and open that up. On the left hand side you will see Set up a connection or network. Click this option. You'll choose Connect to a Workplace and hit Next. Select Use My Internet Connection and on your sheet you will show hostname or IP address. Enter this in the box for Internet Address. On your sheet you will show company name. Please use this as the destination name. Allowing other people to use this connection means that if other people log on to this computer, they will have access to the VPN connection. Usually this option is left unchecked. Then click Next. Enter in your username and password the same as what you use on your company network. Refer to your sheet for what the domain name should be. Now we're initially going to go ahead and hit Connect. And once we've connected, we're going to the icon in the bottom right corner, go to VPN, and we're going to right click. Then we're going to choose Disconnect From and Disconnect to the Connection. Now we're back in the Network and Sharing Center, we're going to go to the left side and choose Manage Network Connections. We're going to right click on the connection we just created and choose Properties. Once in this window, we're going to click on the tab for Options. Please refer to your sheet to find out if the Windows Login Domain should be checked or unchecked. Then, go to the Networking tab. Highlight Internet Protocol Version 4 TCP IP v4 and click Properties. Then, click the Advanced button. Refer to your sheet to find out if the default gateway on the remote network should be left checked or unchecked then click the tab for DNS. Click Add and add the first DNS listed on your page. And then click Add. Click Add again to add the second DNS server if there is one. On the bottom of your screen you'll see DNS suffix. Please enter the information the same as it is on your sheet in this box. then click on the tab for WINS. If you have WINS servers, click Add and add them the same way you did with the DNS servers. Once you've added both connections, you'll go ahead and hit OK, hit OK again, and then OK a third time. You can also right click on the icon that you just, or the connection you just created and choose Create Shortcut. This will allow you to create a shortcut on the desktop for easy use. Now that the short